good morning uh, today we got some uh, requirement on technical access suppose uh, i have a table with large number of data say on many records but i want to update a column in that okay column values for that how we can proceed suppose uh, if, I, if i take that table is the independent one then it is not uh, it don't have any foreign keys then we can proceed like this okay. so this is normally uh, we'll get a step of requirements uh, uh, say if you have any performance issues or suppose i want to do partitions uh, uh, in we have uh, millions of records and uh, how to do it Okay, so first of all, I will try to uh, see, explain uh, how can we uh, update a one million record table. Okay, okay. what is the best approach for that? So for that, uh, normally suppose that we have a like this is the requirement. Uh, if we have uh, One million records are uh, more than that. Uh, we'll try to create a table. Suppose I want to update, like uh, I have a EFT table. Uh, I want to update the column. Suppose like lower a name. I want to update the uh, name with I want to replace the uh, name with lower uh, uh, values, lower, uh, lower. Uh, okay, so then how to do it? Okay, so then we first of all we try to create a table. the procedure uh, suppose uh, i have uh, you can ask suppose i have a uh, dependent table suppose uh, mp mu has a foreign key uh, it is uh, with other tables and uh, how to do it uh, so for that uh, it will all tables will validate and uh, and if any if you are uh, using this procedure if it is table like uh, all the all columns Uh, all uh, procedures will be also invalid. So then we have to recompile all the procedures and uh, dependent uh, tables, and then it will be invalid. Okay. Uh, uh, suppose I have uh, uh, we have one more uh, concept like uh, uh, suppose we have large data, but I want to uh, for, uh, do partitions on the tables. Then also we can use this type of approach so that and uh, so that it won't uh, give any performance issues. Okay, I will try to explain one by one. Initial stage uh, I'm, I, I am doing only uh, for independent table like EMP and uh, uh, and I try to create a new table with. Uh, uh, As the require, as the require, like we have to, we have using lower function. Uh, 
uh, and uh, creating a table. <coughs> okay. Then we will try to drop that uh, vision table. Then rename. It will take. Don't take that much of time. Suppose you want to update uh, like this. Like we have a table. Table is not there. We have the whole we have some next slide. Is created. So we have Values for the group. He has two values, he has uh, two records, then you can easily uh, update. Uh, But uh, we have a large number of data. It will take so much time to update the records. But then what we'll do, we'll uh, create a table. And select uh, like this. We will we will try to create a table uh, like this. After that, then we will drop the main table. We We can do that, okay? So if any, so that uh, you take what that one subtract if you go to your performance issues. Uh,
okay then we we'll drop the table That's why we can create uh, you know, can the performance by using this type of approach. We can, the performance is going to be affected. Okay, this is only for uh, independent table. What we'll do, we will try to create new table with the uh, required uh, so like a lower rename. So I want to update uh, all uh, values with the lower case, and I try to create a table with new. With lower uh, using lower function, then I drop the main table and I rename to uh, the dummy table to with the EMP so that performance ratio is good. But if you have any dependent, uh, suppose they have department table is dependent on this uh, EMP table, the table will be invalid and I have to. Uh, once it's uh, created, it will automatically enable. If you are using any procedures, uh, if you are with, if it's that in EMP table, we are using any procedures, this is invalid. We have to make and recompile it, and then only the procedure will be valid. Okay. Uh, this is one of the approach. And if you have, uh, suppose we have a large number of data, I want to partition the tables also. We can use this type of approach. I will try to do how to partitions uh, have a large number of data so that uh, uh, it will uh, query it will uh, by using partitions we can the query in that uh, by query uh, using the queries uh, the performance will be increased okay? by using partitions tables. I will explain uh, one by one uh, in next uh, sessions. Uh, so that uh, please uh, uh, try to see the next two years for performance issues.